So here's another abandoned place that I found on the side of the highway. Take a look here. Nice porch. This is the front room. Lots of junk. Looks pretty ransacked. You know, I forgot my flashlight and I had a feeling that it was going to be a problem. But uh, the roof has a giant hole in it. So not having a flashlight is not going to be an issue. There's a ceiling fan. Looks like the copper thieves haven't been here yet. Isn't it funny how the roof kind of comes into the house? Almost like this part is a completely new addition. Basement stairs. Sorry about the low light in the kitchen, guys. Nothing in the cupboards. Some nice graffiti on the wall there. Lovely hardwood flooring. Bathroom number one on the main floor. Jacuzzi tub, or what used to be a jacuzzi tub. Front room, couch still intact. These have nice windows there. Sliding glass door leading outside. Yeah, it looks pretty ransacked. Tim Horton's cup in the closet. Secondary room with a single chair in it. That's kind of spooky. We'll see if I can go upstairs here. That window actually looks out onto the highway. Continue up the stairs here. Kids' room. Windows are smashed. Crawl space emptied. A uh, bunch of VHS tapes and some random kids stuff. 
<laughs> Unsettling holes in the floor. Another crawl space. <coughs> Bye. We'll miss this house that we fixed. Thanks for traumatizing kids. Karma, spelled wrong, will come your way for hurting a family after all we did for you. Actions on your part were morally and ethically wrong. May the spirits in-house haunt you for life. Well, that's, that's just a lovely little message. Thank you very much. I guess some kind of fight with the homeowner or landowner. Yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice house, or at least it was at one point. I hear birds. Oh, an old TV. More writing on the wall. Family.ca. Sure. All the windows are broken out. Oh. There you can see the hole in the roof that they've punched. I'm assuming somebody punched it, or it looks like that part was sawed out. Junk that people have left behind. I swear there's like birds or mice in here. Some junk on the end here. Oh, a blue room. Again, the windows are busted out. That's usually the first thing to go when uh, houses are emptied out. This is just a crawl space. Not much in there, just some junk. And again, over there. Some regular run-of-the-mill junk. We'll go back downstairs here. You know, I'm not really sure what happened here. Uh, I've driven past this house multiple times and it always looked like it had somebody in it and then one day I drove by and everything was gone in the front yard everything was boarded up and here we are See if I can look through the closet here. Nothing. You know, they've done a lot of damage. These are the old plaster walls. My guess is that this place is going to be scrapped pretty soon. kitchen. Sorry if it's dark, guys. There we go. I turned my flash on. Yeah, typical kitchen drawer. 
There's a, a mirror above the sink, which is weird. Lucky Lager, probably the cheapest, most gross beer that you'll ever have. This is the pantry, I'm assuming. Shelving has been ripped out of here. I guess that's where the stove was. Or maybe it was over here. Yeah, it looks like it was over here. That's where we came in here. Let's go check out the basement. Oh yeah, these stairs don't look scary. So far, everything feels pretty, uh... Huh. That's weird. Everything feels pretty solid. <clears throat> that just goes right outside. Huh. I guess this, uh, this last part was an addition built onto the house. Let's see what the basement has to offer here. Quite a large basement. Unfinished as most basements are. That is a washing machine. There's a dryer. Heating ducts. Oil tank. Well, now I know that that uh, extra part of the house was an addition because you can see pretty clearly that the house used to end here and then they've added on to it all the way out to there with a little crawl space underneath. Oh, those egg cartons are so old, they've become part of the floor. A newer looking hot water tank. That's nice. Some old laundry bottles, an old TV. Another dryer. You can't have too many dryers, I guess. Looks like maybe a hole for a cistern. I'm not sure. Heater's been completely taken out. There's some old furniture in here that's really old. Wires, tools, junk. There's some more. Let's see if I can crawl over here. Snowboarding boots. Oh. Video camera, more wires. An old Xbox game controller. And about. I'm going to say 30 or 40 VHS tapes. Just blank VHS tapes. Pretty standard basement stuff, I'd say. WWF Wrestling, alright. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. See if I can open this one. Well, if there was a video camera in there, it's not in there anymore. And there's about a thousand pine cones down here, too. Uh, somebody's school card. About a thousand pine cones. Uh, 
pretty big fish tank over here. Or not a fish tank, it looks to be some kind of reptilian tank. Maybe they had a lizard or a snake. Right next to the matches, sure. Sega Genesis controller and a Windows 2000 era computer. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like this place hasn't been used for a while. There's a door. An old, old heater underneath here. And a creepy hole in the foundation. Gotta love creepy holes in foundations. I'm not going in there. First of all, it's freezing outside, and secondly, I don't want to find any weird bodies or anything. So this is the new part of the house that they added on. There's a doorbell, still intact. You can even see the old siding of the house underneath from where they've added on. I can't believe the copper thieves haven't been here already. Truck tire. And this is where I came in here. Now the yard itself has a couple of things. This is a nice giant porch. Just giant. Power hasn't been cut yet. Peek around to the front here. You can see that's where the main entrance used to be. It's all boarded up and everything. There's an outbuilding over there that I'm not going to explore. It looks as though maybe somebody might still be using it. I'm not sure. I'm not going to go over there and check it out though. Because there's a house just down that way and I'm not sure if I'm even supposed to be here. There's also an outbuilding over here. Again, it's got holes punched in it. And there's the house for you, folks. Have a good day.